our science has started to discover facial expressions for, you know, laughter and compassion and embarrassment. My name is Dacher Keltner, and I'm a professor of psychology at UC Berkeley, faculty director of the Greater Good Science Center. Point of fact, Charles Darwin, who's greatly shaped my research, argued in 1871 that sympathy is our strongest instinct. Very Im impressively, scientists are starting to pinpoint really a network of, of neurons in the brain that helps us empathize. Now we find when we feel compassion in humans, that part of the brain lights up. That part of the brain is connected to oxytocin networks, and we know oxytocin is this amazing neuropeptide that helps us empathize and be generous. That tells us that kindness is biological and it's part of the human imperative or human nature. I think your question also is asking another question. What we do here is we study emotions and, and what makes people uh, happy and, um, and part of that is, is based in feeling compassion and uh, reading other people's emotions. Or one of the things we learn is how even very small gestures of compassion and kindness, even those in the lab, really make you feel more satisfied, more content on just an everyday level. We're starting to learn that as you practice kindness, it shifts your nervous system and you're healthier, right? That it may, kindness and compassion may be as powerful a determinant of physical health as smoking. So we're in the Greater Good Science Center and our Director of Strategic Partnerships, the inimitable Susan Fassberg. Most places that research behavior are looking at what goes wrong between people and we're looking at what goes right. We're taking the science of compassion and altruism and getting it out to tens of thousands of people. One of the most exciting messages for people is it's not just a question of how you're born, are you born happy or are you born a certain way, that these are not only teachable skills but learnable skills. When you really cultivate compassion, you really potentiate or activate a lot of the great emotions that make up the meaningful life.